What's going on, everybody? And welcome to the other side of the firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest in cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who've made to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shan Tynes. What's up? What's up? And uh, LeVon was unable to make it, but he'll be back next week. So we're going to hold off on the gaming nostalgia until he gets back. I know you guys are, are interested in that. I think we're at the seventh generation. So we're almost almost there. We're almost wrapping up. Um, I have but, nothing to contribute to that anyway. Like, I, <laughs> like last year with LeVon, man, it's like y'all come up with that stuff that I'm like, man, I didn't even know that was a thing. Like, uh, Man, listen, uh, I, I wish I still had it in me. I just I have not been getting the games, though. But uh, definitely like, share, subscribe. Uh, continue to tune in if this is the only episode you listen to all week we appreciate it but uh on monday uh we discussed what did we discuss on monday um it was the bounty the 10 million dollar bounty yeah, that uh the federal government is putting on people's heads on tuesday we discussed um CISA and their push for the other what is it like over 100 agencies 100, 101 was what i counted yep 101 it's like pokemon right here 101 agencies i didn't even know existed uh and make sure they patch their vulnerabilities so that's a big push there's over 290 active vulnerabilities that hackers are using against them they want to um, cut that down uh on wednesday we go into a discussion on uh diversity uh and, and inclusion uh so dei and uh ic square published a um uh, research about uh, D- DEI and uh, what they saw in cybersecurity in, in different uh, countries. I think it was nine countries, what you said, Shannon. Um, and then Thursday is Ask Assist P. So I hope to have a guest on this week. So do something a little bit different. Have somebody on who is trying to get into cyber um, as opposed to on this this podcast, the other side, we usually have people who are already in there at high level positions. So I want to do the, the reverse where we talk about, talk to someone uh, who is trying to break in and just the questions they have. So I think it'd be interesting. Um, and then this week or this today, I should say, um, we talk about everything else. So with that being said, what have you been getting into, Shannon? Man, I didn't really get into too much, man. Uh, started a couple of new shows. Uh, I'm still kind of in my documentary phase, but you know, I, I kind of slowed down a little bit on that but i started a couple of new shows i started watching uh agent carter on disney plus which was okay it was good and then dipped down a little bit and then you know kind of went yeah. up again uh, i just finished the first season uh i think i i was just actually no i just watched the first episode of the second season so we'll see how that goes it only got two seasons so the public right. obviously right. didn't like it that much but I, I was like okay it was you know like i said up down up again um yeah watch this other one it was uh, it was interesting a guy at work was telling me about it but it's called motherland fort salem right i don't know if you've ever seen this i've, I've heard of it yeah yeah and it's these witches that fight for the u.s army right so uh they made a deal you know back in george washington's day uh the the grand witch i guess you could call her um right to fight for the united states and like to have witches that you know get pulled into their basic training and trained and all this and it's interesting. I'm I'm on the third episode. I'm kind of gotcha. on the fence. I don't know if it's gonna. I'm be like, eh, I don't know. You know what I mean? But right. Um, yeah, I did that. Um, uh, I watched a little bit of ridiculousness this week. That show just makes me laugh so hard. Like, because <laughs> like yeah. everything on ridiculousness is a vi- is a video that's gone viral that's out there. And some of the stuff I see, I'm like, why would you still upload this? Like. <laughs> Right. <laughs> like, why what are you doing to yourself you know what i mean but that's the age that's the that's the age that we're in right like people just yeah you know i i threw up all over myself but i'm still going to upload this and it's like why like what, what are we doing here um yeah, anything for the uh for the gram man it's, it's gotta be that's do, gotta it, do be. it for the vine all, them, all yeah. those catchphrases they're not they're not joking this is life <laughs> yeah but i i just don't get it like i don't need the likes that much you know what i mean like i i don't, I don't know how will you know people like you I don't need that. You know, I don't need it in my life. I don't, you know, if my family comes to me now and says they hate me, I'll be like, all right, well, you know, I'm cutting off the money faucet then. (laughs) Nobody nobody gets anything. (laughs) Christmas is canceled. No, I'm joking. (laughs) But uh, yeah, not, not too much. Um, That's really kind of, uh, that's kind of about it for me. I didn't do a lot of tv watching or, or anything this week uh did not get my study in and i need to i need to jump on that 
uh, get my study time in. Cause like I said, I, I was trying to make it happen again in, in December, you know what I mean? Like actually right. studying and, and doing it. But if I go back into these same old habits, it'll be the same old result. You know what I mean? So right. I gotta get back in that. Yeah, well, speaking, of, go ahead. speaking of study, uh, you brought up a good point. You know what I might do? Cause I need a, I need a W before I, um, take my, my, uh, my holiday break, uh, as they say overseas, um, I might just schedule my tests and give myself a date for uh, the Azure fund- Fundamentals. Cause I am just kind of half studying, kind of studying, watching a video series is actually pretty good. Um, the, the guy teaching it is pretty knowledgeable. I'm watching it on um, O'Reilly. O'Reilly has a series by a, 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 I don't, I can't remember his title. Basically he's authored 20 Microsoft books. Like he, he is Microsoft. Um, so he's, he's one of those guys who's been there since the, from the get go. I think he runs, I think he said he runs almost all of Azure. Um, there's some pieces that he does not, he does not handle because they belong to different departments, but he, his department, he handles pretty much all Azure. So his videos are very intensive. Like here's everything. So I like it, but work keeps getting in the way, man. Like, I don't know why they want me to work at work. <laughs> And then I, I get home and I crash. So every day I've been waking up, uh, going, running, working out, going to work. And then I get home and I'm asleep by like nine o'clock. Can't keep my eyes open. Um, so no games, uh, definitely trying to get back into studying. So I might actually schedule my tests. Um, and then uh, I, I, did, I did get some, some shows in over the past week. So I've been watching Star Trek Picard. I don't know if you've, if you've uh, watched it, but it is fire like uh if you if you're a star trek generation kid like it literally is years later uh because i you know they have to because patrick stewart has aged over you know this past i think like 20 years or something like that it's, it's um, been longer than that i want to say that started in 1989 or something like that next generation wasn't it did it, did it start that early it was like i, I remember it so vividly i thought it was in the 90s but it could be like early like the late 80s early 90s well, yeah, he's, he's back. The show production value, phenomenal. Uh, they bring back characters. So I've, so far I've seen, uh, uh, they've had data, 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 however you want to say it, yeah. on the show. Um, oh man, a few others, I, I think seven to nine. There's a thumbnail for the next episode. Seven to nine is on it. Uh, and I think I saw, a long time ago, I saw a trailer for Riker was on it. So they bring back like old characters. Uh, and it's just a different vibe on this one. Like, uh John Luke Picard man he's he is up there he, that that man uh uh oh man I forgot his real name just now Patrick Stewart Patrick Stewart uh, yeah. you know, he is he's still on point his acting is still phenomenal um but I'm just like you look at him he just looks like frail like he looks his age I don't know if they make if they do it up a little bit more to make him look a little bit older or if he is he, I mean the man has to be in his late 70s early 80s I think he's like 80 I think he's like like yeah. 80 they had one fight scene uh, and he wasn't, he wasn't fighting, but he was like, he was like ducking and shooting and stuff like that. And a dude ran up and hit him and knocked him over. And I'm just like, that can't be a real him. Cause he would have shattered like glass. <laughs> like, cause they, my man, my man clotheslined him over a couch. I was like, Oh no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's really good. Like again, production is, is amazing. It is trapped on, um, Paramount plus, um, they, they took over cbs right like yeah. what was the yep. cbs the streaming thing okay yeah. and that 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 makes me upset because <laughs> i had to get this just to watch that um but it's phenomenal i, I definitely enjoy it like i'm, I'm big i'm a big star trek dude I, I watched every star trek except for enterprise um i gave it a couple couple episodes it just was not for me but everything else i've, I've watched and this one is up there uh it's definitely definitely a different take on starfleet and all that stuff so i I, i'm enjoying it so i got i gotta correct myself it wasn't 1989 it was 1987 really yes 87 94 seven year run yeah it was that was still uh my favorite i I say deep space nine was pretty good um the new discovery is really good but you know nostalgia so the next generation always always gonna be my banger i watched the stuff before it because my grandmother had all the the vhs's of all the Star Trek movies, and we used to watch the show, uh, and it was good. But Next Generation can't can't be beat. Um, and then, so, so let me ask you something: Does Whoopi Goldberg ever make any appearances in there? Because I remember she was in Next Generation, like she's so still she, out there on the View or whatever. So 
Yeah, so she like uh, I don't I don't watch the View, but there was a clip where she had um, Patrick Stewart on, and he asked her to be in season two, like on the show. It was like basically uh, it was one of those like uh, you got to say yes type situations because he asked her on the show, and she was like moved by it. She was like, of course, like I, I definitely would come come back because she she was on the Next Generation. I want to say a little bit, but she was really on um, Deep Space Nine. Her character was like a reoccurring role in Deep Space Nine. Um, so I never, I never watched Deep Space Nine. I remember from Next Generation. She was the bartender, right? Yep. The and then I think, I think she moved over to, to Deep Space Nine, is where she went okay. after that. And that was, um, was that the one that directly after Next Generation was Deep Space Nine? Because it was different, right? Because it was an actual space station. It wasn't, it wasn't a, a ship. And I, I watched it, but it just never. There was a couple characters I really liked. Like I liked the captain. I liked uh, there was this this one Ferengi <laughs> who used to be in the bar all the time. You uh, just talking mess and, and making trade deals and stuff like that. Um, it was good. It, it was good. Um, but again, the next generation man <laughs> can't be beat. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've been I was marathon and I slowed down because I thought there was two seasons. There's only one season, so I was like, oh, I can't 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 crush it right now. I gotta. Got to, got to slow the pace down. So I watched, I think I watched the first four or five and now I'm watching one a week. Um, cause, cause I, I know season two is probably delayed cause of COVID. So it's going, it's going to be a minute. Um, what else? I did not watch. I got to catch up on, I talked to you about it. There's two, um, Apple TV shows. There's one called invasion, which is an alien invasion, uh, show uh, really good so far. Um, I'm enjoying that one. And then there's another one called Foundation, which is set in the future um, where people have colonized other planets and it's got all this lore. It's very, um, I would say almost Dune-like. Uh, like they have like an emperor of all of the uh, the galaxy and he clones himself. Uh, so that way he's always in power. It's crazy. And he has, there's three versions of him at any given time. There is Brother Don, which is uh, a baby they raised to be all the way through. There is Brother Day, which is the one that's in power. He's the one who's in his like 30s to 40s. And then there's Brother Dusk, which is the older version of him, which is 50 to like whenever he, he finally dies. Um, and that's how like, so he's they raise the Brother Day, or I'm sorry, they raise Brother... Um, Dawn. He's brother Dawn. Uh, brother Day is in power. And then Brother Dusk is like, he's been around so long. He's like the elder council type man. Uh, and then they just keep raising, they just keep going through the uh, the timeline together. So it's pretty interesting. Do the people of the universe, do the people of the galaxy know that this is going on? Yes. Or do they just they, assume, okay. They're, they're the only people who can clone, clone themselves because there was like this kind of clone war and they were like, we can no longer do this, yada, yada, yada. But he, um, the dude who was in charge of all of it, decided that in order for everything to remain peaceful <clears throat> and to work, because, you know, once somebody gets power, they don't give power up. He was like, I'm going to make myself the emperor forever. Uh, and they just keep cycling through. But this, I forget how many, how many times they've done it. I think they're on like their, their fifth or sixth generation of uh, him, him being in power. They call him emperor and he is, or they call him empire. So he, he is the empire, so they call it empire. Um, like things are starting to go awry. Like the brother, brother day is a little different this time around. And they, don't, they haven't noticed it yet, but he noticed it. So he's trying to hide it. Um, so it's, all like, uh, it's like multiplicity, right? When you clone a clone, like they get right. <laughs> not all yeah. there, right? <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. There's, you know, obviously there's a, a galactic war and all that stuff uh, kicking off. Uh, but it has it has all to do with math. Like there's a guy who discovered a formula that that predicts that the uh, empire will fall at this time and there'll be a dark age for this time. And then things will start over. And uh, they, they tried to silence him because that's bad for the empire. Like, no, I don't say that. So they, they tried to silence him. But he was like, no, listen, if you don't do these things, uh, we can't uh, shrink the dark age time because they're like well let's just make it not happen he's like no you can't do that either you do nothing and there'll be dark ages for like a thousand years or something like that or you do something you can shrink no it's like tens of thousands of years but if you do something about it it can shrink it down to a thousand 
And uh, so obviously he gets exiled and then it's a bunch of stuff. So it's, it's interesting, but it's a very slow burn. Ah, very slow. Um, so I got to catch up on that one. And then uh, we discussed it. So I watched two movies this week. So I, I watched The Eternals and I, I watched uh, The Heart of the... So The Eternals in theater and uh, The Heart of They Fall on Netflix. And I think that's in theaters too, but it's not playing in my theater. So uh, Eternals, I give it a seven. It's not bad. It's better than Thor The Dark World. I tell you that much. But um, it is an origin story. So they have to basically like who are these people why are they here and then how do they fit in the mcu like where were you at <laughs> when all this stuff is going down where, what were you doing and they explain all of it um and they make you like characters um i don't want to spoil anything but um there's people who will come into the story and there are people who will leave the story let's just put it that way <laughs> It's a gang of characters, so you know what I mean. So you get to learn some more than you than others, um, but it wasn't bad. It it just lots of exposition. Uh, I think it's Disney's first uh, Marvel sex scene is in it. Spoiler alert: that was in the review I watched. It said it said this movie contributed nothing but sex <laughs> to the MCU universe. Wow. It was and that was a bit harsh. I, I think it did give you uh, some more lore. Obviously, there's some post-credit scenes. One of them was actually like, I had to look it up because I had no idea what was happening. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, okay, that's going to be hot for the future. You know what I mean? So uh, I will give it a solid seven out of 10. So not bad. Just we got to get to the sequel or however they fold into the Avengers or whatever. Um, and then uh, the harder they fall, uh, amazing, amazing cast. Amazing soundtrack. Um, if you're, it's a Western, it's, right? It's the it Western. Is a Western. Come on. Yeah, okay. it's a Western. Idris Alba, uh, uh, King. Jonathan Majors, uh, Regina King, um, just mad people. Uh, who, who's the comedian? Well, they're all comedians, but who's the the funny dude from uh, uh, Blackish? Like he he's Anthony like a worker. No, he's oh, like the Dion, Dion Cole. Yeah, Dion Cole's in it. Uh, major role, actually. Um, man, there's so many actors. But, uh, oh, man, what is his name? Ah, oh, what is his name? He played um, uh, Sorry to Bother You and uh, uh, Judas and the, uh, Black Judas and the, uh, and the, what was it, Black, the Messiah and Black Messiah? Judas? Judas and the Black Messiah or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Something, yeah. I, I didn't see that one, but uh, I, can I, his name. I think I know the guy you're talking about because in the thumbnail, he's got the headband on that's bleeding. Yeah, yep, that, that guy. Yep, okay. I forget his name, but yeah, he's, he's in it as well as a major character. Like, they have an ensemble cast. and, and a, uh, a, a, yeah, Obviously, the soundtrack is going to be good, right? It's produced by uh, Jay-Z, so. Um, but uh, I really can't find any faults in it except for if you don't like Westerns because it's, 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 it's definitely a Western. Like, they don't modernize it too much. They make it a, they make it a Western. And, and that's the thing is that I don't like Westerns, but I saw the trailer and I was like, man, that looks pretty good because it looks like a like a Michael Bay Western, like stuff is blowing. Right. Right. <laughs> right. And those are the type of Westerns I like, right? Like the, the oldest Western, I think, um, uh, aside from Blazing Saddles, which, which was amazing and uh, hilarious, was Wyatt Earp. And then after that is Tombstone, which is a faster paced, you know what I mean? I think there's the 1210 to Yuma or something like that. That one's faster paced. Like, I like those. I don't like the the really old um, Clint Eastwood ones. I like the more modern ones. And this one's very modern. So still Western, but um, I think it's pretty fast paced um, and lots of action. A, li a little bit like just, just enough exposition to make the, there has to be a cohesive story to get you through it, but most of it's action and just funny lines. Like from, from, the, from the jump, it's, it's just funny stuff. I'm trying to I'm trying to think if it's playing over here. I I I don't know if your Netflix got it before ours did or what, but I'd, I'd have to look that up again. Because no, I, I think I, I, think it just, I think it dropped on Tuesday everywhere. Everywhere, okay. Yeah, I think it dropped on Tuesday everywhere because I saw somebody on my timeline. I had to not read their comment, but it was just that it was good. Um, but he is East Coast. He watched it this week. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. I say it's worth a watch. Like uh you'll know if you like it in the first uh 20, 30 minutes. 
See, I thought she was gonna be like, yeah, like the first forty-five minutes to an hour. I'm like, I'm not putting that type of time in. <laughs> no, it, it is pretty long too. It's it's like a good. I think it's like two two and a half hours. But um, I'd say the first 20, 30 minutes because two two major things happen. It's, it was funny to me. So, <laughs> like, it's uh, they're they're not they're not talking old timey. Uh, so there's some some funny quips that 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 uh, take place between them. Uh, but I think you'll like it, actually. Um, what else? No games. Uh, I was hoping to play something. I didn't play anything. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta prioritize my gaming. I gotta get it in <laughs> at some point. Um, and then, like I said, I've been working out every day. So working out and running, trying to shave some of this COVID weight off. I'll tell you something that's upcoming. Like, didn't watch it this week, but next week, uh, Red Notice is that the name of it? The one with uh, oh yeah, yeah, Wayne Johnson, Gal Gadot, and Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, like I read, I read a review for it that uh, <laughs> it was kind of crazy because the person said, well, they they guesstimate they paid two hundred million dollars for this production, right? Which mm-hmm. is the most Netflix has ever paid. That's a right. Netflix production, the most Netflix has ever paid. Like that's more than a lot of these studios are paying for movies that go out to the theater, right? You know? Um. But uh, the review I read, the person said, this is like dumb action that you will enjoy. So they're like, it's like a 90s movie, like a 90s action movie where they're just blowing stuff right. up or whatever, um, trips in the globe, but you'll enjoy it. And I'm like, that's right up my alley. <laughs> like, that's what I need to see. Blow stuff right. up, get on a plane, blow stuff up in another country, get on a plane, blow stuff up in another country. I'm all for it. Gotcha. But yeah, the trailer, the trailer looks great. You know what I mean? So... I, I'm gonna watch it for that one this week. It, it comes out the twelfth. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I think this week I think it had a limited the, theatrical release. I think I thought I read somewhere, but and then it's on Netflix uh, November twelfth. So yeah, okay, yeah, I'll definitely check it out because I, I saw I saw the poster, so I was like right there when I saw the three of them on the poster. I was like, right, oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna watch that, but I've not seen the trailer for it yet, so I'm, I'm gonna check that out. Because uh, when I saw Red Notice, I thought Burn Notice. Remember that was a, a TV show. Destiny, yeah, Burn Notice was a TV show. Yeah. yeah, it was a TV show. So I was like, okay, I I I can see where they're going with that. So I'm down. That's a lot of money. Who green Who green likes these 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 deals? <laughs> well, look, but if you look if you look at the people that they had in it though, right? Like they they're fairly certain they're going to get their return on investment. Which I don't know how Netflix. I don't know how it works outside of outside of subscriptions, right? Um, yeah. Like, unless you're saying, okay, it's going to give us a million more subscribers just to see it, because that is a lot of money, right? But you got you got Wonder Woman has made money. I mean, Dwayne Johnson pretty much hits $100 million every time he puts a movie out. You know what I mean? Ryan Reynolds has got so many things going on that they think they'll just get, they'll get back with them. Ryan Reynolds might have, like, a deal with Netflix or something, because he's done, like, three movies with them so far, right? He did The Underground 6. Yep. He did this one. And I thought there was one more that I may be missing that was a Netflix one. I could yeah, be wrong. I don't, know, I don't know what the other one was. Um, because he did um Free Guy, but that was in theaters. It was in theaters, yeah. Recently. Yeah. But uh he may, because like Adam Sandler made like six movies with Netflix. Like yeah, they, they like who they like. <laughs> <laughs> Chappelle, Kevin Hart, Adam Sandler, uh Ryan Reynolds. So I, I'm down for it, but I just don't I don't know how they make their I don't know how they get a return on investment. Um, like is it by keeping people? Because like maybe that's it, like. Like I won't stray to another platform like Paramount Plus or anything like that because you give me all these 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 uh, hot movies. But I honestly don't I don't get it. To the tune of two hundred million though. Yeah, I just Again, don't. That's a, that's I don't a get it. Estimate. Yeah, that's a that's a guesstimate. Now, and when we see it, I'll probably be like, okay, yeah, that's why they spent so much because they went to like eight different countries. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> actually <laughs> in country. <laughs> Yeah, and just like, hey, we need permission from your government to blow up the Kremlin. You know what I mean? Can we do that? Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, but uh, yeah, no, it, it, that's what I'm looking forward to, though, um, is is coming out in a week. Uh, but I don't know. It's got it's got to be new. It's got to be new subscriptions, though, because just just retaining people, like, I don't, who, I don't think. Who, who else are they gonna get? Who is left? Yeah. <laughs> like, they've had my money since. Oh man, when I started doing, I I think I've been uh, Netflix since the jump, like maybe a year after. Maybe I gave it a year before I started getting them DVDs, but I've never broken subscription. Really? No, not, not even when they're raising prices. I was just like, yeah, okay, two more bucks. 
It's fine. Yeah, I was late coming on. I was late coming on. One of my friends was putting me on to it. He was like, man, you got to do it. You got to do it. Um, and this was this was before they were even streaming, though. Yeah, like, that's know, when I was getting yeah. uh, DVDs in the mail. Yeah. Um, I just kept on with them. And then they just flipped the streamer, and I was like, man, this might work. And then now it's it's the only way I consume uh, movies and stuff like that. So I, it, some someone's doing the math and it's working out for them. I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, I think you saturate the market. I don't think there's more people. And everybody's making a streaming service. So like I have Netflix, I have uh, Apple TV, I have Amazon, I have uh, Paramount Plus. Only for Picard. I'm gonna cancel it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was tempted to cancel Disney, like uh, I, really? until until Hawkeye comes back. I could save myself a month. Yeah, that's seven dollars. I could have had. Like, that was just like, uh... seven, seven <laughs> <laughs> like okay. if it had been multiple months, it would have worked out. Like okay, I saved twenty one dollars. Well, I was just like, man, I just leave it. <laughs> but I haven't watched anything on it. Really? Waiting for the next. Waiting for the next show. I've seen all the movies multiple times uh they haven't dropped anything that i uh remember being smacker doom i watched that you watch smacker doom no. no that's apple that's apple smacker doom's apple that's a uh uh pill joint um what what else on disney have i watched nothing i think what if ended and then i have not cut cut the app back on wow okay no, I, I get very nostalgic for a lot of the Disney stuff, man. Like, I will watch, like, the old Avengers stuff. Uh, like, I'll watch those movies when I'm going through there and be like, you know what? Let me let me watch this again. and be like, oh, yeah, that's right. right. You know, that happened. But, um, like, I know for me, uh, was it Shang-Chi is going to be on there next week for free. So I'll be watching that November 12th, I think, is when that drops. That was fast. Free. That was, that actually, I think they did their regular 90 days, though. Because I think it was oh, in wow. September, right? September, October, October. So maybe, no, it might be 60 days. Might be 60 days. But I read I read when they first released it, it was, they were going to shorten it to like 45. So I thought it was coming out in October. But then I thought it was earlier in November, like it was supposed to be this week. And it seems like yeah. it got pushed a week. But yes, yeah, the 12th. And then uh, uh, I haven't watched it, but it's going to be free next week. Jungle, Jungle Cruise, the one with Dwayne Johnson. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be free on Disney Plus next week. It won't be premiere access anymore. Um, but no, I just get nostalgic every once in a while and turn on Disney Plus and, and watch something on there. But I got a lot of streaming services too, man. Like I should, I, I, I was talking about this at work. One of the guys I work with, I was like, man, I was like, I should have just kept cable. But with cable, I'm only watching like three channels, right? right? Like with all these streaming services, like I am watching them for the most part, except for Netflix. Netflix has kind of lost me. Like I've said it. I've said it before. If I if I go away from T Mobile, like I am going away from Netflix. Like they just don't have anything for me that really jumps gotcha. out. You know, every once in a while, you know, they'll get the red notice stuff, right? And then it's like, okay, well, now I gotta wait another year for something good that I wanna watch. But I know they're doing uh extraction too, right? So I wanna see that yeah. as well. So I'm like, ah, you can't... Say they, they they come out with a movie every what, two, three months? It may not be something I really wanna see though. Yeah, that's true. They got a lot, like they're they're doing a lot of their own content on there that I'm just like, I can't get down with this. You know what I mean? Like it's just stuff that I'm like, like I've never watched. It's been very popular. I've never watched Stranger Things. It's actually it's pretty good. good. It's actually well. So the first season reminded me of ET. The second season I thought was really good, but as they get older, it gets weirder to me because um, it's not me growing up with them. It's them growing up, and it's just strange. Like one episode, they were, they were tongue each other down. I was like, uh, I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> like these were just kids, you know what I mean? Like they're teenagers, uh, yuck. <laughs> yeah, but if you look them up, they're probably all in their twenties. <laughs> probably, you know what probably, I mean? Yeah, but it was just like uh, I don't like it. <laughs> once once I got past that part, and I was like, okay, it's good, it's good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought that because I yeah I didn't I wasn't feeling the first uh, couple episodes like the first season I was just like man I seen this I seen ET, so <laughs> but then it, it picked up from there I was like oh, okay I see where you're going um, with this but um yeah Netflix usually for me they they stay with something so now it's um uh the harder they fall which I thought was uh, really good and then 
Somebody else is about to drop something. I think either Apple has already done it or they're about to do it. Um, they're about to drop a, um, what's my man's name? Uh, uh, Hank. Um, oh, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks, there you go. Fr- he's, he's got a, yeah, Fritz or something like that. He's, yeah. he's got a joint coming out. Like, it already gave me, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, castaway vibes, but in the future. So you got me. You got me right there. Give, yeah. give me Castaway and Robots. Psh. All day. <laughs> I, I got to tell you something, man. Like I got, I got a free year of Apple. I haven't even activated yet. I, I can't remember what it was for. I think it was for the T-Mobile breach or something like that. I think. Okay. Well, so I know you get it for your your device. Like you bought a, a phone, so you I get it. Yeah. I, I I think that was only like six months. Like so, like I got it with that, and I never activated it. And then I got it with uh, I, man, I can't remember what it was. It was like a year. I think it was with the T-Mobile breach. You know, gotcha. again, right? One of their multiples. I think that's what they offered me. And I was like, yeah, I'll take that. Never even set up an account or anything. Like, I just, I see the, I've seen the trailers for the stuff that they offer. And I'm just kind of like, yeah, I don't know. You know, I got a friend of mine that keeps telling me to watch uh, Ted Lasso, the soccer coach. It's, the guy I, actually. Yeah, I heard it's hilarious. Yeah, but I have not watched it. Yeah, the guy is funny. He was he was on Saturday Night Live. Uh, I can't, his name is Escape. Sudeikis. Jason Sudeikis is his name. Yeah. Um, it's actually funny. I like them, but I'm just like, ah, soccer? Mm, nah, not for me. I don't care. Right, right. <laughs> it's, it's one of those things where it's not about the soccer. Right. Type situation. Okay, like, like, uh, what's the zombie stuff? Walking like, Dead, yeah. yeah. Not about the zombies. Dead. No. It really wasn't. It really wasn't about the zombies. Every commercial I saw, Ryan, was zombies. <laughs> right, right. Those, those are the, uh, the apparatus that gets you to uh, the human stuff. It's more about the, the humans are more dangerous than the zombies. Unless it's a bunch of faces getting shot off. It ain't for me. I mean, that that was the first couple seasons of The Walking Dead before it got, I think I made it to season seven before I dropped off. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just too much. It's just going for too long. You know, I, I like my stuff short and concise. Oh, that reminds me, short and concise. Cowboy Bebop is dropping on Netflix. I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, okay. The live uh, action, right? Live yeah. action, yeah. Because uh, the anime is only 26 episodes. Mm-hmm. That's it. One se- one season. You get you get in there. You you produce a good show. And you get out. <laughs> That's what everyone should do. So, do you know if it's just a live action of the twenty six shows that they've already done, or is this a little bit different? Are they going? To, is this after the sh- after the animated version? It picks up and and this is no. I, I think it it happens during the same time. It may just be um, from what I've seen so far. It looks like uh, uh, just an adaption of the the anime, like. They may take it a different direction, but the anime has a clear ending. <laughs> like they, they forecast, I started watching it again. Um, Cause it's like the second anime I've ever seen, I think. Um, it's either, the, yeah, I think it's the second one. Cause I'll all star and I think it was Cowboy Bebop. Um, uh, but it, 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 foreca- it foreshadows it in the first episode. And then the last episode it comes true and then that's it. <laughs> and you're just like, that was a very good, short concise story i like i liked it okay so I, I don't know what they're gonna do with this one because you got to think uh netflix wants it like a netflix netflix will not overstay its welcome it will it will end a show or cancel a show i think it can't be more than two seasons maybe three if they really stretch it but um i can see it only being two two seasons like do two um 12 episodes or something like that 13 episode um uh and each season, and that's it. Wrap it up, because there there was no way to continue <laughs> the, the original Cowboy Bebop. So, okay. well, I'm pretty excited. But I think I think the, the cast looks spot on, and it'll be very stylized. Because obviously, you, you could do a lot of stuff in, in animation that you cannot do in real life. Um, but it, it looks like it's gonna it's gonna achieve it. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and then December, uh, Lost in Space comes back for their, its final season. So season three will be the last Lost in Space. Uh, I watched that one with my daughter. It's pretty good, actually. Um, I do have to start watching that. I, I, you're not the first person to say that. Because I, yeah. I, the last trailer I saw, the very first one I saw, I was like, okay, that looks good. And then I didn't watch it, right? And then the last one I saw, I was kind of like, I don't know. Well, actually, it was the second one I saw. And then the last one I saw, I was like, okay. I was like, this robot seems to be losing his mind. So yeah, this is going to be what's up. This is what I'm looking up. for. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, oh yeah. It's, it's very violent. Like a lot of like, uh, it definitely ratchets it up. Uh, in first season, first season, second season was pretty good. But first season, yeah. Um, is you like oh, <laughs> like first first contact is not uh gonna be pretty whenever it happens. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, I, I do. I do got to give that one a shot, but yeah, for sure. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Um, that should be it through the holidays, right? Then Hawkeye drops. That'll be um pretty that's fun. No, that's, that's November, isn't it? And oh, is it got, November? Yeah, that's, okay. no, that's like November twenty second. Then you got the Spider Man movie that's dropping in December. Yep. The uh, I'll see that one just just before I go on holiday. Yeah, holiday. <laughs> For going holiday, um, that one will drop. So I'm I'm pretty pumped about that one because that's it for that trilogy. So like it's they gotta they gotta come with it. They gotta they gotta bring it. They gotta bring it all together and open up uh, phase five. Right? When is phase four over? The next Doctor Strange? Probably. Maybe? I I think I think they'll probably have to end it with that before they go on to the next one. Is gotcha. my thing, right? Because you got black. You got Black Widow, and then like all the TV series fall into Phase Four, right? Right. Like they've been doing are all Phase Four, because because the end of yeah the end of Phase Three was in game, right? Yep. Yeah. So yeah, everything yeah. after that was four. So yeah, definitely will be setting setting the stage up for the the multiverse of uh, of madness. I so I'm, I'm pretty excited about that stuff. Um, I'm very excited because that, that that just leaves it open to just address so many other things like from the comic book world right and there's some people that if you didn't read any of the comics i didn't read a lot of the comics but i knew some of the stories and whatnot but if you didn't read a lot of them you're just like i'm entertained regardless right but i'm not one of those that you have to st stay so true to the source material either right you know what i'm saying right. so um, but with the, with the with the multiverse it's like oh you can have anybody from anywhere show up right because marvel marvel studios is acquiring all these properties and whatnot you know what i mean yeah. from from Marvel characters that may not have been un that are not under the Marvel Studios banner, you know what I mean? Right. Like, even, even with Spider Man doing that right now, like, that's that deal they have with Sony, right? That's right. Fox, Sony. Yes, yeah, Sony. Yeah. X Men was Fox. That's who it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I mean, they're 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 bringing them in, man. They're like, all right, come on, come on over here, get on in this. We'll we'll go ahead and make two billion with you. We'll go ahead and make two billion with you. You know what I mean? So, right. Is is Morbius coming out this year? Because it got delayed like, from last year. I think is it, you think it's next year? I, th I think so. See, now you got me. I got to look. Yeah, that, that, because I, I saw another trailer for it. I'm just like, meh, I'll watch it. <laughs> but that's another one of those lesser known, you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, I don't know. Yep. You said next year? January 28th, 2022. It's the beginning of next year, though. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so it got bumped from this year then to next year. Yeah. Um. So I'm I'm down I'm down to watch it, um, but uh, I think that pretty much wraps up all the the stuff for this year that's coming out. There's some games coming out. So Forza Five, Forza Horizon Five. Uh, I thought it dropped this week, but because I'm seeing reviews everywhere, but I can't find it to download it. Um, it's a racing game. I'll play it twice. Now probably delete it. <laughs> I mean, like. Um, and then uh, Halo. Halo drops on the eighth, December eighth. So that'll that'll take up the rest of my my holiday. That's why I kind of want to schedule the test, study for the test, get a win, and then just jump right into gaming for the rest of the holiday. Yeah, no, I, I understand that. I definitely. Yeah. Understand that. But then I got to start practicing Smash Brothers. I I, uh, I work in a shop with people who play it competitively. No holds bars. They beating the brakes off of me <laughs> for the past couple of weeks. Mm. They take it very serious, but they have fun. They have fun. Um, but you can tell that they're so competitive with each other. Like you just see the level of competition is rise. Like people who used to be garbage are now like f facing the final dude. He's still whooping them out though. <laughs> so so you, got like a, you, got, you got like a grand champion in the shop or something? Yes. Like, like, yeah. 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 Teaching people, he sees them why he's whooping them out. <laughs> oh, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, he's like, do this, do that, do this. You, you should do that instead. Well, he's it's very friendly. But yeah, he's, he's I've only seen him lose a couple times, and that's because he is trying to instruct while fighting. So yeah. but yeah. 
Okay. But okay. Yeah. So uh, again, I I'm, I'm about to land this plane. But again, if you if you made it to the end of this episode, you are uh, a, a true super fan. Please share us <laughs> with your friends. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, again, Monday and Tuesday topics. Wednesday discussion. Thursday, ask us SP. I'm going to try to start having people on. So if you're one of those people who's trying to get in the industry and you have questions, uh, please bring them to me, and we, maybe we could do it in in real time as opposed to me just. Uh, typing into cyberspace and hopefully answering your question. Uh, I, I would really like that feedback. Um, and then Fridays, we do this, we talk about everything else. So uh, Levon will be back next week and we'll, we'll hopefully jump into that uh, Generation 7 video game consoles, talk about the nostalgia. And Shannon's not, not tracking because he was a grown man with responsibilities. <laughs> um, I more than likely had a console. I just didn't do a lot with it. <laughs> like I, just, <laughs> I don't play those things. I pay bills. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Moving my glasses around. What, what you call this? The play? The Playboy? What's this called? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, definitely, definitely hit us up throughout the week. Uh, ask your questions. You can hit me up, uh, or to say you can uh, check out our social medias on the website www.theothersideofthefirewall.com. Uh, you can hit me up personally. I'm at Ryry Security Guy. That's R Y R Y Security Guy. I am on uh, Twitter, uh, TikTok, LinkedIn, Clubhouse, and Instagram. I, I never advertised Instagram. We're starting to publish more episodes on there. Um, or as I say, I am very slowly publishing episodes on there. Um, so, but all platforms at Ryry Security Guy. And uh, Levon is Levon Maynard on Twitter. So hit him up as well. Um, stay safe, stay secure. Thank you.